Hello and welcome back to this look at precision farming and our how-to series. In this episode we're going to look at how to establish tram lines. I should have done this in the last episode when I planted the other fields, but for some reason I thought you set the tram lines when you did your weeding or spraying or fertilizing. So without further ado, we're going to go and set tra tram lines on this field. Right, so we need to buy a sprayer. We need to know what the width of the sprayer is so that we can um, determine the width that we need to set for our, for our tram lines. So we have bought that sprayer. And if we go back into our sprayer category, we bought the R732i power spray and we've set the width to 24 meters so we now know what the width is we also put on sea and spray and pulse width modula modulation well it, it would appear the pulse width mod modulation seems to just spread things a little bit more evenly whereas your sea and spray um, of course just detects the weeds it would appear that this gives you a better application around corners or if you're going faster and slower so we we've, we've put both of those on so we now know that it's 24 meters our sprayer width so if we go into our maps and we go to precision farming and we go over field 3 which is where we want to establish the tram lines and we center it on three and we in my case right click on my controller it'll bring up the menu the farmland menu and we can see the purchase soil information clear yield map tram lines so we just select tram lines and then it gives you a little bit of a blurb there sets the, dist the distance between the tram lines that are automatically created during seeding set this width to the width of your sprayer so we width of our sprayer is 24 meters and we say a okay and we go out of that and we'll now put our cedar on. We'll do the cedar without without the fertilizer because then we can do some applications on that as well and maybe have a look at the diff how well that works with the pulse modulator on. We'll buy another sprayer without it. But that's for the next episode. <laughs> let's, let's get our tram lines set up right and we will go and put a work on to this and then see what happens right we'll get back to you once the field has been done well welcome back we just about finished the seeding this is the last little bit and then we will just fold it up we'll take it back to the farm area yeah so that's basically that field now seeded hopefully with tram lines but we won't know until it's grown to the next stage and the crop starts coming up which will probably be in the next day so we'll wait for that and then we will get back to you once the crop is up and hopefully we will have some tram lines so we'll see you once that's done well welcome back it is now the about 11 o'clock on the next day after we've put put the tram lines down or given the instruction of where the tram line should be so let's have a look and see how that's come out 
put myself into flight mode so we'll go up to the top there and there we go there we can see our tram lines so, so some entrance points and those are areas that we can follow along when we are fertilizing and weeding or weeding with herbicide of course so that works fantastically we have tram lines these these are the fields that we did without setting the tram lines and I did weed and fertilize them um, simply because they were a day ahead and I thought I'd show everything on this last field well I do hope you found that interesting that is something new something we haven't had before if you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio